Hey everybody, Jason here. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. If you're returning, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Drop a comment and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I come out with more videos. And in this video today, I'm going to go over 13 of the items that I sold this past week. Uh, I had a really, really good week this week. Um, the sales were had some really, really nice ones and excited to show you uh, some of the ones that uh, actually were in our haul videos. So it's really neat to be able to show y'all that, hey, these items that I do purchase at the Goodwill, they actually do sell. So this is going to be for the week of April the 29th. And here are some of the items that I sold. So we'll start right off with a thrift store find. Uh, this is the Remington iLight Pro, some sort of hair removal. Uh, this one sold pretty quick. Um, I say pretty quick, within I think a week or two. Um, I believe I paid $13 for it. Uh, that's just, I have to go back and look at the video to get the exact amount. I, when I, I think I mentioned this before, but when I do my cost of goods, I just do it as a whole. I don't write down individual prices, but I believe we paid $13 for it. Sold it for $80 on a best offer. It shipped for $8. eBay and PayPal got about nine bucks. We profited $50 in the end. So awesome sell there. These are really cool. I had a hard time not keeping them myself. These are some rare Adidas uh, sneaker shoe lights. I do have one more of these left. Um, this one sold on a best offer of $40. And I'll show you some, some more pictures here. Yeah, they're just really, really cool. Uh, I guess it would be Christmas lights, but you could use them for a multitude of different things. So we sold these for forty. I only paid three dollars for them. They shipped for seven. eBay and PayPal got five. So my net profit on these were twenty-five dollars. Okay, probably one of my better sales this week is this new sealed White Mountain B17 Bomber thousand-piece jigsaw puzzle. Um, this puzzle was, was brand new, factory sealed, and had it listed for $79.99 and I took a best offer of $70 for it. So I sold it for $70. I paid four. It shipped for seven. And eBay and PayPal got about $8. So in the end, I made $51 profit off of this puzzle. Don't look over your puzzle. Now, there, I will admit, there are a ton of puzzles out there that are not worth anything or worth very little. But there are some that are rare. Unfortunately, this one, I wasn't able to sell it on Amazon. I think maybe because I was restricted. But be sure to check your puzzles. Uh, they Some of them do sell. Okay, here's a book that I got. Uh, I think it's my, one of my last two haul videos. Um, this one is a hard hardcover book. It was brand new sealed. Um, I was actually restricted on Amazon. Um, and could not actually sell this book on Amazon, so I listed it on eBay, and it sold for the full asking price of $39.99. So the numbers on this, I sold it for $40, bought it for $3, shipped it for $3, because this ships media mail. Media mail is any type of educational material, and this being a book would be educational. So it shipped for $3. I, eBay and PayPal got about 5 bucks. So in the end, I made $29 on this book. Very, very happy with that. Okay, here's one that you may not see too terribly often, and um, I'll kind of explain this one. So there's a golf tournament called the Masters, if you're not familiar with golf, and the winner of the Masters gets a green jacket that has gold buttons on it, just like this one. This is a, actually the name of the, the company is Brookford Classics, is the name who made this. But anytime you can find this type of green uh, blazer. This will be in the suit section. And you can kind of see how I took my pictures here. You want to you want to look at picking these up. I picked this up for $7. I did take a best offer on this of $35. Now the Masters is already past this. The Masters was actually in April, the, that golf tournament. It only happens once a year. But somebody still bought this jacket. If this jacket would have been a Stafford or a more well-known name brand, I could have probably gotten close to $45.50 for this one. I've sold these for $45.50 a lot. So... Um, but I have had this one a while. I've had this one oh, probably about four months. So it did sit for a while before it sold. Um, but I sold it for $35. I paid $6. It shipped in a padded flat rate envelope for 
around $7.33. We'll go ahead and round that up to eight. And then eBay and PayPal got $4. So my net profit on that one was $17. So very, very happy with that sale. Now remember on your clothing, you must, you've got to take a lot of measurements. So um, I'll kind of scroll down here and show you what I did. Um, I listed, there was no material tag, so I believed it was wool. Um, a two button, that's your two buttons in the front. Vent means that there was a kind of a slit in the back for the vent. And then I measured pit to pit, across the waist, how long it was, and then the sleeves. You want to be able to sure, be sure to put that kind of information in there to help prevent any type of returns. And so the uh, customer knows exactly what they're getting. Okay, here's a really good sale. Um, this is a Michael Jordan um, Bulls jersey. He wore 45, I think one year maybe, or this might have been a replacement jersey when his was getting stolen. I can't remember the exact reasoning behind it, why he, why he wore 45. His normal number was 23, as, as I'm sure you know. So this was a Michael Jordan um, Chicago Bulls authentic Nike sewn jersey. So I'll kind of show you some of the pictures here. Um, this was a really, really nice jersey. I was a big fan of Michael Jordan growing up, so <laughs> kind of wanted to keep that myself, but hey, we're here to make money, right? Uh, here you can see kind of the lettering, and I'll show you the back here. I try to get really good pictures uh, where the customer can zoom in. So I was asking $70 for this one. I actually had it for um, a couple months, and somebody offered me $55, so I just went ahead and took it. So... We sold it for $55, bought it for $6, shipped it for $5. Uh, eBay and PayPal got roughly about six. So in the end, we made $38 profit. And when I say we, I mean me. Uh, I don't know why I say we, we so much. But um, <laughs> so, so really good sell there. Okay, we bought these in a thrift haul. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, just a couple weeks ago on one of my weekly thrift hauls. And I sold both of them back to back. You'll see the next one in a minute. And they both sold for full price. Um, these, I want to say I paid two or three dollars. I'm going to go with three. I did not pay any more than three dollars for them. I had to go back to the video and look. Um, but they were both brand new, and both of them sold for twenty three dollars. And I paid around three. They both shipped for four dollars. eBay and PayPal got three dollars each on them, so I made thirteen a piece or $26 total. And when you're listing, uh, you got items that are the same. As you can see up here, I've got available and sold. Uh, we sold this one and then here's the other one. Sold it, so there's there's none available to sell. So it was pretty neat. And they both went to California and I had to double check it, but they did go to different people in California, but they were literally sold back to back on the same day, if I'm not mistaken. So pretty neat there. So two items, $26 total profit. 13 each. Here's another one from the haul video. Uh, picked these up for 99 cents each. Uh, a lot of times your old media uh, will sell. These are three and a half inch floppy disk, or if I'm not mistaken, uh, Super 120 megabyte. They uh, they sold pretty quick. We just we picked them up a couple of weeks ago. I paid 99 cents each, so we sold them. Did sell them for full price of 25. I paid three dollars total for all three. Uh, sh they did. Uh, have to go priority. So that was $7 shipping. Uh, $3 went to eBay and PayPal. Net profit, $12. Uh, here is the ladies women's uh, Adidas golf wind rain jacket that I did pick up in one of my very first haul videos. Uh, this one we picked up uh, for $7. And as you can see, it has a really nice aqua color to it. Really nice design also. And it was brand new with tags. So Anytime you see something brand new with tags, you definitely want to check it out. And there's your tag there, regular retailed at $90. Uh, again, I took a best offer on this one of $30. Uh, I paid uh, $7 for this one. It shipped for $4 because it went first class. It was extremely light. Uh, and then it, uh, eBay and PayPal got about $4. My net profit on this was $15. Okay, here is um, a Polar Lights John, not a clue, uh, funny car. This is one of those models. If you remember from, uh, I know growing up, these used to be really, really popular. You, you open these, you put the models together. It's really pretty neat. Um, this one actually had some staining on the back of the box. I mean, check this out. 
I mean, that might be mold. Uh, but I did describe that in the listing. Um, I put that there was staining on the box. Um, let me scroll down here and show you. Brand new factory sealed, small tear in the factory cellophane, so I noted that. There is some staining on bottom of the box. See pictures, never opened. I honestly didn't know if I was going to sell this. I'm like, that looks almost like mold to me. <laughs> but somebody bought it for full price of $28.99. They did not even make an offer. Um, so it was, and the reason I bought it, I almost didn't when I saw the bottom of it, but it was only like $2. So I said, I'll give it a try. So sold it for $29, bought it for $2, shipped it for $5 because it did go first class. Uh, eBay and PayPal fees got about $4. And in the end, we made 18 bucks. Okay, here's the TI-83 Plus graphing calculator that I showed in my last haul video. Uh, I listed this, um, I think it was yesterday, and it sold within two hours. Uh, again, I paid up for this one, but this just goes to show that these calculators, if you price them accordingly uh, to what kind of the market's going for them at the time, they will sell. Remember when you're taking pictures of your calculators or your remote controls, always get a picture of the battery cover. Uh, being taken off where they can see the battery compartment so they can confirm that everything is clean in there. So, so yeah, this was a, a decent sale. I mean, we didn't make a lot of money off of it, but it sold within two hours. So it sold for 26. I paid $11 for it. It shipped for $4. eBay and PayPal got around $3. So net profit was $8. Not a ton, but again, it went quick. And the last one for this week is one that I did uh, show in a haul video. Uh, this was just a, a DVD uh, box set of the New York Knicks and it's it sold fairly quick within a couple of weeks. Um, did, I did take a best offer of $18 on this one. So I sold it for $18. I paid $3. It shipped for $3. eBay and PayPal got $2 and in the end we profited $9. So that was the last uh, sale of the week. This was not all of my sales. It was just some of the ones that I thought maybe you could gain some information from. Um, so hopefully this help, helped you out and you can be on the lookout for similar products like this when you're out reselling. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comment box. And as always, I really appreciate everybody watching. And uh, good luck out there and happy reselling this week.